Hi everyone, I'm back with another review um, for Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition, Episode 8. This is going to be short. It's getting down to the, um, I guess maybe maybe the last one or two episodes for the season. But on this episode, Gangsta Boo and Emmett, they got kicked out of Marriage Boot Camp, Celebrity Marriage Boot Camp. Um, they were setting up, the task was the lie detector. And they were setting up in uh, Gangsta Boo Nim room. And, you know, she was feeling some kind of way, you know, why they had to come in there and set up in her room and stuff like that. And so they was moving the stuff off of their table. So I guess she forgot some things and left it on the table. So when the production crew come in there, you know, to set up, they saw some... Um, some white residue or substance on the dresser behind the um no on the nightstand behind behind a lamp and so they went and got the um the head producer and um dr ish and he, he come in there and he shined the light on it he said oh it's 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 clear and he said it looked like it's about a gram of it and um they had to test it to see what it was and it was some type of drug and um, he called for um, Gangsta Boo and Emmett to come, you know, come downstairs and talk. And, you know, he was letting them know what he found. And um, Gangsta Boo was just, you know, just, she was acting like, you know, I don't know what you're talking about. It ain't mine. But, you know, earlier Dr. Ish and um, Judge Toller was talking about um, Gangsta Boo behavior. How she be up and she be all over the place and she be down. And it's, it's been ongoing ever since they've been there. And they have noticed it. Something is, you know, is really wrong. And then um, she kept, you know, denying and, you know, it wasn't hers and stuff like that. And um, she then she started to get on Emmett like, you know, he wasn't taken up for. Her and it was looking, it was making her, you know, making her look bad. I guess she was saying it's going to make both of them look bad. And, you know, he was like, I'm with you and, you know, and stuff like that. But she got caught. And um, so, you know, he was letting them know, you know, there are some places she can go to to get help for this. If this really is, you know, this, this um, what's going on with her. And, you know, she would just... She was just upset and she was just through with it because she had got caught. And, you know, and then I guess they wanted to know, could they stay there? And he was like, no, you know, you can't stay. You know, you have to go. But, you know, I got somewhere you can go. And she, she wasn't trying to hear it. And um, and then she just felt some kind of way that Emmett wasn't behind her, wasn't defending her to get the pressure, I guess, get the pressure off of her. And they was packing up their stuff. and um. The, the car was outside waiting on them. And the next few, I guess, minute or so, you know, they was gone. And then they called the meeting for the house. And then they told, you know, the rest of the group what had happened. And then they felt bad. They didn't get a chance to um, say goodbye to them. But they did say once they get out of there, a couple of them, they said they're going to reach out to Gangsta Boo and, you know, and talk to her, you know, talk to her later. And then, you know, Dr. Ish said, well, okay, now we just going to have to go on with what we, you know, got going on here and get ready for this, um, this task and, um, this lie detector. And, you know, they did the lie detector test and then Judge told us that, yeah, it came back three lies and three truths. So, you know, now they all trying to figure out who, who done told a lie and who telling the truth. And then later on, um, Dr. Ish and them gave them a hall pass. You know, normally they'll let them out. They, they didn't read the results then. So I guess they's going to uh, read it on the next episode. But they normally let them out like a hall pass and go out to a club. And they are single and they can do whatever they want. But since, you know, we're still in the, mid in the middle of the pandemic, they can't go out to a club. So they're going to bring the club to them in certain parts of the house. And, you know, um, the girls had to go stay up in um, 
stay in who room? Was it K. Michelle or Morale in room? But anyway, um, Lyrical was like, you know, I sleep by myself. I don't like sharing no room with no female and stuff like that. And then, you know, all the guys, you know, they stayed together. So they had some strippers in there. You know, they was dancing and going on for the men's and the women. And, um, looks like the guys was having more fun than the girls. And then Lyrica and uh, Mariah Lynn, they started dancing on, um, you know, one another. And they was trying to get um, K. Michelle to join in. And she just sitting there looking at them like, no, not interested. And then later on, the girls, you know, they went on, you know, upstairs, whatever. And the guys stayed on down, you know, doing what guys do. Looking at the strippers, throwing the money. So Mariah Lynn, you know, she don't trust Rich. So she decided to come back downstairs and crash the party. And that was the end of the episode. So I will see the rest of it, you know, next week. And that's all I have for right now.